pattern is that people kind of join in whenever they can just because we, I try to make this meeting late enough to where it's not inconvenient but late enough to where people can still come like if they're getting out of work things like that so first on our agenda is just some introductions so we will introduce our two lovely alumni council members first Hi, I'm Mariana Borelli. I'm the president of the Alumni Council. I'm a 2007 graduate for Mass Bay. Oh, Brendan, you're on mute. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Brendan Frazier. Um, I am the president elect, um, and I graduated in 2012. Nice. All right. Next, we can just have our alumni attendees. So Nathan, do you want to go first? And then Catherine, you want to go next? Yes, I'm Nathan. Um, I graduated in 2022 last year, and I'm glad to still be involved um, as an alum. So thank you. Yeah, I'm happy you're involved too. Right, go for it, Catherine. Um, so I'm graduating this May. My major is international business. And yeah. <laughs> Glad to hear it. We'll see you at commencement. <laughs> All right, so let's go with our Yep, Sabrina's an alum too. I was gonna say let's do the mentor and men managers next. So Sabrina, you can be next and then we'll do Tom and Tracy. Okay, I'm Sabrina, 2020 graduate of that day. I also work at that day as the professional work mentor manager in career services. I'm creating a wait is this okay to me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm creating a mentor program for students who are not STEM or business majors to be part of a professional mentor based on their field of interest. Perfect. Yeah. I think that's all, Julie. <laughs> Let's do Tom and then Tracy and then Julie, then Henry. Thank you, Sydney. Um, Tom Nimi. I'm an associate professor of business at Mass Bay. Um, I'm the coordinator for the first year seminar program and also for the business mentor program in which Sabrina has been a big help this year. Um, and Nathan, I have to say, I miss seeing you on campus. Thank you, I miss you too. Um, hi, I'm Tracy Gustafson and I manage the STEM mentor program. And um, as Sabrina said, the, we have STEM and we have business and now we're covering all the students that aren't in those majors, but I specifically work with alum, student alum, I'm sorry, I specifically work with mass based students that are studying STEM, so the sciences, engineering, computer science, IT, and I match them with professionals that are working in STEM careers. So we're really excited to meet more and more alum. We have this past year, we had uh, five different students that used to be at Mass Bay that are now back as a mentor for STEM students. So we see that happen more and more, certainly not the students that graduated in the last year or two, 
but the ones that have graduated a few years back and they're now working. So we really want to continue to engage as much as possible. And um, Sabrina, I already connected with the woman at MathWorks, Priya, that you had emailed to me. She got someone that, that was a STEM person, and so she forwarded their contact and introduced them to me. And I've met with her, and she's interested in the program. So thanks so much. It's great to all be kind of working together with that goal. Awesome. All right. I'm sure Julie needs no introduction, but if she wants to say say some words. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, Julie Ginn, Director of Career Services. It's so good to see everybody. Um, and um, those are my words for now, because I know I'm, I'm later on the agenda, but thank you for inviting me. And again, lovely to see all your faces. <laughs> all right, Henry. Henry, I don't know if you're trying to talk, but you're muted. He might be having connection issues. I'll give Henry a little intro. So Henry is a Mass Bay alum. He, oh, oh I saw you yeah. unmute for a second. Sorry, okay. I'm like right <laughs> asking again. Um, hello everyone, my name is Henry Lopez, uh, 2004 alum um, that has boomerang back to uh, Mass Bay as a uh, part of the IT staff. Uh, excited to be part of this meeting and just part of the Mass Bay community as a whole. All right, and I think that's everybody except for me. Um, I think everyone here knows me for the most part. Uh, Catherine, we emailed today, but I am the Alumni Relations and Volunteer Coordinator. I started here at Mass Bay back in November, and my focus and what I really want to build with this program and what President Padel wants to build with this program is just letting alumni know that there is a community that is wanting them to participate, wanting to welcome them, and to be here as a resource for you guys. So right now we are still in our alumni council kind of setup, but after this next, you know, after May, after commencement graduation, we're moving to an alumni network, which is a little bit um, looser. It's more what we believe you know what we've planned it to be is just to be something more sustainable for Mass Bay in the long run. So less strict rules, you know, more free flowing, sustainable. What we want to make it is what we can make it. So the success of the program really, you know, comes down to alumni participation. So I'm trying to build that up. Hence the Red Sox ticket. Hence Henry helping me out with that. <laughs> and um, you know, we just are going to get more and more people every meeting. So. We have these meetings the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. So we, you know, keep an eye on the alumni LinkedIn, keep an eye on your email for the alumni announcements that you will be starting to get. And uh, we hope to see you again. And now let's move on to our actual agenda. So I'm going to share my screen and Tracy, you are up. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, so you're okay. Oh, awesome. So you've got some information in here. This is great. Um, so the so again, just to be clear, we have several different mentoring programs at Mass Bay, and I work with STEM students and alum, so professionals that are working in STEM careers to match them with the students at Mass Bay. We do the STEM mentoring pairing up. We pair a mentor with a student. We try to match them with someone who's working in a field that they're studying in or that they're interested in as closely as possible. So it gives the STEM students a chance to really learn about what it's like to be out in the working world and to be a STEM professional. We also put on lots of fun events and offer other um, special um, opportunities to students that are in our mentor program. We have panels, we have um, sometimes guest speakers, we bring students to companies and often our mentors are a part of this. So um, the same thing with alum, if they are working at a company that might be a fun place for us to bring students for a tour or for a career panel. We work with people in that way too. And a lot of times it starts if they're a mentor in the program, they're volunteering in our mentor program, we then kind of engage them in other ways. But um, the students really benefit from this program. I get overwhelming response from students and it really helps them to kind of believe in their ability to be in a STEM career, understand more what it's like. It's a rigorous curriculum and so it's easy to get kind of discouraged along the way 
but also the mentors, and, and you can see there's some information here, the mentors really report that they um, benefit a lot from being a mentor in the program. Just giving back to their you know, to the community, enhancing their own skills, um, and really just helping students. Once the volunteers meet our students and talk to them and see um, often the, the um, kind of uphill battle they may have to getting their education or the obstacles that they overcome, they're really inspired to um, help them out. And I hear this over and over again from so many mentors. So, yep. So the, the key right now is that our program runs just through an academic year from about October to May. So we're wrapping up this academic year and we will start again in the fall. So summertime is really, um, really an easy time to learn about the mentor program and decide if it's something you're interested in. And what I started doing a couple of years ago when we all got forced online is doing my information sessions virtually through these. These are all WebEx links and um, and um, you can you can share. Sydney can share a document with you so that you can click on these links. I, right now I have four mentor information schedule se sessions scheduled for the summer um, starting. The first one is until July 27th. So right now we just kind of take a break. But all those sessions are identical. You can attend one session. They're about 40 minutes. And I give you all the information you need to know about the program, the details of how to participate, what the ex expectations are. I give you some background about our students. And at the end of that session, you can, I will then give you a link to enroll. And if you're interested, you just go through and follow through with that enrollment link. And of course, there's plenty of time to ask questions or find out more. And uh, my emails there too is available to um, ask questions. So I think that um, you're going to be provided our STEM mentor program brochure, which is just a little overview, and then also this document with the links to um, to Crumb. So I I ask you to share this with anyone who's a STEM professional and spread the word. Um, we'd love to have some alum to uh, to mentor our students. So yeah. Thanks. And then I'm going to start putting these links for these um, STEM mentor information sessions in the alumni announcements. So that will go out to the 19,000 some odd alumni that I email on a monthly basis and on the LinkedIn page. And I saw that Liz Kinsman join. So happy to have you, Liz. Do you want to do a quick introduction? We have a couple of, we have an alumni who is not, or a future, she's technically an alumni graduating in May. So if you want to say hello. <laughs> Hi, yes. Um, so I'm Liz Kinsman. Um, I graduated in 2008 and I actually currently work at the college as the success initiative manager. Awesome. Thanks, Liz. All right, Tom, I got your slide right here. Yeah, thank you, Sydney. Um, so in terms of our business mentor program, we seek out professionals um, in business fields such as marketing, accounting, uh, finance, uh, management, managerial consulting, um, entrepreneurs, um, basically anybody that has a, uh, a business background that would like to give back to uh, the Mass Bay community in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Um, the fantastic thing about our mentors and, and I think our a collective mentors as a whole at Mass Bay is that all of our mentors see such uh, excellent value in our students. You know, they see all the all the potential. They see um, the fact that our, our students are so hardworking and so dedicated to their studies, uh, to their families, uh, to the college as well. That they just want to give back because they know that these students are going to make such a, a significant impact uh, to the surrounding community. Um, so, as mentors in the business mentor program, you know they help our students with uh, providing practical advice, encouragement, and support. And that can be academic support, that can be professional support, um, sometimes some personal support as well. The students benefit from learning from the experience of uh, experiences of others. So we have the combination of the people that are currently working and also retirees as well. Um, and it's great to see retirees who, uh, who want to become part of this program. Um, students feel a little bit more empowered to make decisions and they, they seem to have a greater ability to self advocate as well. So when working with a mentor, um, one of the skills that, that students can develop is that self advocacy, which is so very important to their academic journey. Uh, our students also develop communication skills, uh, 
in working with our mentors so they can better communicate what their goals are, what their aspirations are. Uh, they can better communicate what they need and they feel a little bit more comfortable asking questions of different support areas and their faculty at Mass Bay. Uh, the developing strategies is huge for our students as well. Uh, it's great in helping students move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. So in the fixed mindset, you know, instead of students thinking that they are just naturally bad at something such as mathematics, with that growth mindset, it's that it's not that they are bad at mathematics, it's just maybe there is something deficient in, um, in their study or their organizational habits, something like that. The student themselves can be good at math, but let's look at all those other things that lead up to taking an exam or completing a homework assignment and seeing what's going on there. Um, we also have our, our business mentors come into the classroom as well. So the image here is from last semester uh, when mentors came into my business, uh, my management honors class, and they had an opportunity over a four week period to come in and talk to students about the students reflection assignments, but also take half of that time as well to make connections with students. So ask, ask students what they are passionate about, what they are studying, what they hope to to achieve in Mass Bay, and then what they hope to do as uh, in their careers. And this, this was great in terms of getting students face to face time with our mentors, knowing that they actually exist, uh, getting some of the value from the mentors in the classroom setting. And then to the point where uh, four out of our 13 uh, management honor students actually applied to work with a mentor afterwards. So it was great to you know see a, a decent percentage of students uh, actually go outside of the class and say, you know what, I want to work with one of these mentors uh, on my own time, which is great. So if you're interested, you can feel free to contact me. My email address is here. Um, I'm happy to, to speak with you about the uh, business mentor program to answer any additional questions that you have. There's a mentor application that's on the website as well, and I'll put that in the, uh, the chat box here. Um, so what usually happens is Sabrina will get that application. Uh, she'll notify me that there's uh, somebody who has applied to become a mentee, and then I'll reach out to that person to uh, set up an initial meeting uh, that's on a rolling basis um, to to speak with the uh, mentor about, you know, what what are they interested in, uh, why uh, do they feel that they could uh, be a good fit in the mentor program. It's an opportunity for me to ask them questions and to just um, you know start that process in them becoming you know one of our phenomenal mentors. So we do interrupt, this all sounds great, but there is someone trying to get into the meeting who cannot. I wonder if you can um, just message me privately with the link to the actual meeting. Um, I thought I tried sending him the link, but it wouldn't work. So maybe. Yeah, no worries. I saw that Tracy and Julie joined. So if you guys both want to, oh, thank you so much, Julie. Uh, yes, Julie thank again. you, Julie. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that Tracy and uh, Julie Roy joined. So if you guys want to do a quick introduction, we'd love to hear from you. Good evening, it's Julie Baroy. Um, I'm an old lady and I'm a Mass Bay alum. Started in 1996, had two kids and came back and finished my degree. And now I do one card. Awesome, thank you, Julie. So happy to see you in the meeting. And then uh, Tracy G. I just realized we have two Tracys. We have two no. Tracys and two Julie. No, that's the same. It's the same me. I'm oh, okay. That's still, that's still me. <laughs> still Tracy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I, I have to run in a little bit, but this has been great. Look forward to more meetings. No worries. My own brain, like going from page to page, I'm like, oh my gosh, yay. Okay, no. <laughs> awesome. All right. No, thank you so much. Um, to. Tom and to Tracy for presenting so far. Uh, Sabrina, we will go on to you. And I'm just going to have the little flyer that I made for the alumni announcement on here. I'm Sabrina. I want to see you. 
that came in on a mass being alum. So I was in career services being a mentor program for students who are not STEM or business majors. It will be launched for the fall semester. This program will match students with mentors who are in the in the students' field of interest. So it's career based and now I don't know what out here. No, you're okay. I know. Uh, what have you? You've been working a little bit with um, around like meditation, and that that's something that you want to bring kind of with your like paralleling to your program too, right? Yes. And um, how do you create a work life balance? Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Does anybody have any questions for our mentorship managers who are still here? And I will be sending out um, Tracy's information with the alumni announcements and on LinkedIn as well. And same thing for Tom and for Sabrina. <laughs> All right. If we don't have any questions, let's move on to the beautiful, lovely, and fabulous Julie again. Isn't that nice? Wow, mm -hmm. that is that's that's very kind. Julie, the other Julie gave you a, a thumbs up for that too. That was <laughs> um, so hi everybody. I um, most of you that are already here already know what a lot of the stuff that I'm going to say, but um. I'm going to just, if it's okay, I'm going to share my screen and, okay, show a few things, um, all things career. Um, so, and this is something that you, if you don't know already, um, this would be great for you to share with other alums and um, just happy to, to let you know that, you know, we're here as career services, we're here to help you um, not only when you were here, but now that you're not. Um, and so we um, were here and that, that doesn't have a time limit. Um, so I just wanted to go through some of the things that we do uh, within career services first, and then talk about some of the things that, um, you know, you may want to partner on, or you may want to get involved in um, working with um, with us in career services at MassFit. So, so, as you can see, I'm not gonna. I, most of you, I, like I said, have already worked with me uh, in career services when you were a student, and um, in some capacity. Um, but we have. I'm just gonna scroll now to this area here. We have a lot of different ways that we help students here, and as well as alums. And all of these can be. Hey, you want to change your career, or you want to explore a new career. Um, you want to learn how to write a resume or update your resume, uh, you know, learn how to write um, a letter of intent or application to something, um, a cover letter, whatever it is, um, you know, that you're working on. Maybe you're applying to grad school or you're applying to get your bachelor's or a certificate somewhere else or back, you know, wherever. Um, so. We can do that. We can also help you prepare for interviews, um, interviewing skills. You can never have enough practice. It's really just all about the practice that, you know, no one was born with in great interviewing skills. Um, and so we're here to help do mock interviews with you. We also have 
HR professionals from a variety of backgrounds that are happy to do mock interviews with you as well. Um, so those are the, the first three things. Um, and I'm sorry if you're seeing, I should have, I hope you can't see my, <laughs> somebody's chatting with me on Teams. I should have gotten off of Teams. Um, no, so, you're okay. We can't see it. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> So building your LinkedIn profile, um, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Like who, most of you here, I already know have LinkedIn profiles, but um, you know, giving you kind of some more tidbits around that and showing you really how to make connections, especially through our alumni network on LinkedIn um, and how to do some outreach on that. Um, internships are more for the students while they're here, but these are all things that you, if you are a, end up being a mentor that you could share with your mentees, with any students. Um, we certainly can help you find job opportunities um, and also connecting with professionals, which includes the mentoring. Um, we hold all sorts of career events. And if you are interested, some of the ways that you can you know, help um, out is you, you may want to participate as a panelist. Um, so I'm actually, hold on one second, I'm just going to stop sharing so I can see everybody's face because it's just better for me to, to see everybody. Um, okay. So if you wanted to be a panelist, um, you know, we, you know, I've worked with Everybody on here, I've worked very closely with all of the um, mentor managers. Um, in fact, you know, Tom has brings his classes a lot to different panels. We um, we're partnering a lot, and and some of those panelists are alums. So um, we'd love to have you have a skill, you have something you want to share, um, you want to volunteer for any particular gig where you want to do resume reviews, you want whatever it is you want to do, there's a place for you. Um, and I know that um, you know, Sydney can talk a little bit more about some of those other volunteer opportunities like mobile market, things like yeah. that. Um, but we, you know, in career services are just excited to have you come back and have you be able to share your experience. I mean, it's so much nicer for students to hear from former students uh, than from me. I mean, I've been here around 16 years, you know, I mean, I know I can be engaging sometimes, but it gets a little bit, you know, people get a little sick of me sometimes. Nathan smiling, he knows what I mean. Um, so, um, so really you have a lot of great things um, to share, uh, wealth of knowledge, and um, we really value you as, people, but especially Mass Bay alums. Um, so um, please feel free to um, ask me any questions. I'm going to stop there for a second because I know that I just kind of rambled a little bit about career services. So if anybody has any questions. No, I think that was great. So a great thing about just going over these topic and topics in particular where if necessarily people who are currently in this meeting, it might not reflect directly to them, but these are going to be going on the website. So in case someone wants to look at this topic from the alumni website, they'll have this as a resource. It's just going to be up there. So got to work with Wendy on getting these up there, but it's going to be on there for years. So it's always just going to be a great resource. And then we're always going to have people come back to these meetings to reiterate, to talk, to answer questions. I know that with the mentorship managers, um, we're going to be doing um, the same kind of uh, little chat like every other month for the next couple months just to let people know when there's information sessions, know how to contact the mentor managers, things like that. So now we're kind of on to our regular kind of meeting. So for those of you who have not been to just our regular alumni meetings before, uh, welcome. And I'm just going to share my screen. I'm going to make you guys smaller on my screen. And we are going to kind of go into our upcoming events, upcoming event ideas, volunteer opportunities, administration, 
open forum and then we're going to be doing the Red Sox drawing. So I'm not going to spend too much time because I know that for the people who are here um, are excited for the drawing. So um, the review of the April alumni announcement. So for those of you who have not gotten the alumni announcement, um, we will just go over it quickly, not quickly, but efficiently, <laughs> just so you guys can see what's going on. Sorry, this logs me out so fast, and it's always just like, I was just in here. So for those of you who have not seen what our typical alumni announcement looks like, so alumni announcement, once a buccaneer, always buccaneer, it'll have the date, and it'll have the um, that month's meeting like topic. So this one, I have a great picture of Julie again. I had a little summary about the Red Sox ticket giveaway and about the mentorship managers coming to the meeting. And then this is just kind of like a regular blurb about like why people should normally go to the meetings just to stay involved, hear what's going on, help us plan events, and just, you know, hearing what's going on. And then these two um, pictures, you guys might have seen the Win Red Sox tickets one on the mass based social media. This email here that we're looking at also went out to the 19,000 alum that I have their emails for in our system. Next, we have just a little thank you to Stacy Okada, who was one of our speakers at our Evening of Appreciation, which was held by the Mass Bay um, Foundation and the Development Office. So it was just an event that we had on April 11th. There has not been an uh, Evening of Appreciation in the last three or so years, and this event really was for the scholarship recipients to be celebrated, to be like, hey, you guys are doing it. We're so happy for you. Um, this one was less focused around the donors, but their donors for those specific scholarships were also invited, but this was really just to celebrate the um, scholarship recipients and Stacy is an alum and a past scholarship recipient so we had five total speakers four of which were current students and Tracy or Stacy was our alumni and this is a little quote that she said here but um, if you guys want to read that I'm just going to talk a little bit about other things so um, if you guys aren't aware I work with Michonne davis Ian, uh, Michelle Biscotti and uh, Juliana Juniani Dos Santos. So we all work in development, but our I believe our efficient depart, official department title is Institutional Advancement and Alumni Relations. So we are here in Mass Bay at the Wellesley Hills campus in room 145. If you guys ever want to pop by and say hi, you see the light on, feel free to come on in. Um, we're always here for you guys, and we really love interacting with the students just because a lot of what we do is kind of behind the scenes with me being with more interacting with the alumni and with us kind of dealing with a lot of the um, scholarship applicants on like the computer side of it so whenever we're on campus we always like to see as many people as we can and it just is helping us like meet everybody and it's always just a really fun time um, for those of you who are not aware Liz Cooper was our runner in the Boston Marathon and she was able to raise a whopping $11,400 for the Mass Bay General Scholarship Fund our goal was 5000 so Liz really went above and beyond and and um, God help anybody else who decides to run the marathon for us next year, because this is their goal now. <laughs> but it was great. We had a great time. Um, we had, there was an event that was being held at um, Jack's Abbey that same day on Marathon Monday, where we had um, Rayad, who is a Mass Bay alum and is the d executive director of Downtown Framingham, Inc. He partnered with Jack, uh, Jack Downtown Abbey. No, not Downton Abbey, Jack's Abbey. My brain is scrambled today. I've been here since like 8 a.m. <laughs> but they had a great, it was a little bit rained out, but there was a great amount of community participation, different businesses from the area, and then we were like a block away from the marathon route. So it was a really great time, and we hope to go back again next year. And then on April 20th, we actually had our Let's Talk Personal Finance Forum. So this is a series that I'm hoping to do as like the Let's Talk, like kind of like finance forums in the future. We're kind of thinking that the next topic will be something having to do with taxes, but we're not sure. Still trying to get some feedback. But this one was really focused on first time home buying and mortgage and mortgage lenders and how to prepare and what seems feasible and basically how 
you know, no matter what situation you're in, if you talk to a professional, that was really like the main takeaway that they wanted to let people know. Just talk to somebody. Don't get discouraged. Don't look on Zillow like I do and be like, wow, it's a 7% interest rate. (laughs) Just to not be discouraged and just to talk to people and ask those questions. So it was a great event. We had around 25 people there in attendance. Mariana was there. Um, Do you have anything that you want to say about the event? It was a great event, and it's wonderful to have alumni be able to help um, all the students and the community of Mass Bay. So it was a terrific event, and we should hold another one like that. (laughs) Yeah. And the speakers were great. We had Alfonso Hilgado, who was our moderator. Bill Rayner was there. Um, We had an alum, Alex Edwards, who recently just wrote a book called Mortgage Before Marriage, come and talk and be one of our panelists as well. So it was just a really great time. And I really hope to have one again in the soon. If you guys know Alfonso, so like over here, this is his lovely family and the new little baby. He's super cute. And then something else fun that's going on. So the new building. The new building's almost done. So um, I'll talk a little bit about it later as well, but um, there's a great video about the building and the programs that are be going into the new building in Framingham on the alumni announcement. And then I could also put it on the alumni LinkedIn page. So that new building should be opening in January, and I believe they're going to start moving stuff in there late summer, early fall is what I've heard most recently. So That's really exciting. October. Thanks, Julie. (laughs) And then I just always have a little reminder in here for people to keep their information up to date with us, just making sure if you guys have a new email address. Um, Something fun that I actually learned from Henry, so specific verbiage is your guys' mass bait email will be deactivated two years after your two years after your last registered semester. Right. I can chime in on that. Okay. So the official stance is two two years after your last registered uh, class, uh, a month, two weeks, and then a week prior to the account being purged, we notify the alum, uh, the alumni, or the uh, student on the left, because not everyone graduates or is an alum. Um, and uh, while we tend to be very stern with that uh with those rules we can make extensions one-time extensions for uh straight uh situations a uh, case in point somebody had created a youtube channel uh within but using their mass bank email and they had all this content um so we gave them a week ex- uh, extra to move all that data because obviously we don't want to truly inconvenience someone like that but um yeah, so that's that's the official stance. Awesome. Thank you, Henry. Okay. Sorry, I had his tune text me. All right. And then next, if you just have a you know, alumni volunteerism. We want you guys to volunteer. If you guys are ever interested in opportunities, please let us know. Um, and I will find something fun for us to do. (laughs) The things that we kind of have going on currently, um, every semester we have scholarship application review, which is really amazing. You get to read the scholarship essays that are submitted by students who are looking to, you know, receive a scholarship. And it always, it always makes me cry to sound like super corny, but it always makes me cry because everyone just has so such unique stories and backgrounds and experiences. And it really just like, it really, makes you appreciate the effort that they are putting in to their education and to and into their lives. So it's always just a really great experience. Uh, mobile market happens the second Wednesday of every month. I believe the next couple months after next week, there's going to be a little bit of a hiatus, but I believe it's going to be back in September. And then commencement. If anyone um, wants to volunteer for commencement, I think we're looking pretty good but if anybody's like i really 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 want to be there we will find something for you to do we have cookies galore so (laughs) you're always welcome at the cookie table (laughs) and then at the bottom of this one i just had like a little survey just to kind of get feedback from um alum with when they're 
available. Like what day a week works best for them? What time works best for them? Um, We're trying really hard to have great meaningful events and I want to make sure that people are able to go to them. So, and that is the, you know, that is our alumni announcement. So, (laughs) oh no. Okay. Grab that chair over here. So we have, you don't want to be on camera? You're all in the wrong meeting. Okay, well, Mazin's here too. So I'm going to take off my headset so he can hear everybody. <laughs> but you're going to be on camera now. You're in here. So say hello, everybody. Hey, everyone. How are you? Hold on. I don't know why we can't hear you guys. Can hear us. Hello. There we go. Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm sorry for being late. My apologies. You're okay. So he is a student and an alumni. So I he like honestly he's like one of the best people on campus. Where if you need to find someone to like help out at an event or bring people to an event, he is always here. <laughs> And he's super helpful. So if you guys do not recognize him, he is a face to remember because he is very helpful. And Sydney, and we must say that he was in a fashion show looking very fashionable uh, last week or the week before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you saw me at that. Yeah, I went to that. Oh, really? (laughs) Me and Julie went that. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw it the entire Andrew Lee or so. I was sitting behind you and just like the phone up taking proud pictures the whole time. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that we've gone through the alumni announcement, does anyone have any questions about what they saw in the alumni announcement and how to get the alumni announcement? If you guys haven't been getting it, anything like that. If you guys haven't been getting it, please just like send send me an email or put something in chat and I'll add, make sure your email is on that list. But does anyone have any questions? Okay. All right. So kind of going to do a little, we already reviewed the Let's Talk Personal Finance Forum, so we're good there. So events that are in the works. So um, one thing that I'm hoping to have more happen during the summer, just because it's the summer, people don't want to be on campus, is having restaurant fundraisers. So I know that Rayad with Downtown Framingham Inc. has a couple of restaurants in mind for us to have alumni fundraisers. So kind of having an alumni social, but also having money that we spend at the restaurant, a percentage come back to us with the alumni um, scholarship fund, or just getting added to the alumni relations budget if there's something specific that we want to raise money for. So we're looking at restaurants in the Framingham area and in the Boston area, just so we can try to have the most people go. Um, Along with that is that I am um, talking with um, James Fudo, who did our How to Network at a Networking event event from last February or last, was that March? I think it was March. Time is flying. I've only been here six months and I'm like, I feel like it's been longer, but in like the best way possible. Um, so we're hoping to do another networking event during one of those restaurant socials because we think that would be really fun. And he has uh, pitched the idea of speed networking, which is not something that I've ever done, but it kind of sounds like speed dating. And that's always an interesting time. So we are open to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> another of the things that's come that's coming up that we're still kind of just like working out how to make sure legally we're doing it correctly is the um, September 23rd Red Sox game. So the game that people kind of voted for the most from the poll, from the polls that we had for days, times, events, kind of things like that. Um, So we ended up getting tickets for the September 23rd game. It is a Saturday. It is against the White Sox. And it's at 410 10 p.m. And it's also Boston Be- or Fenway Beer Fest Day. So it's going to be really fun. Just have to figure out the details of how to receipt and how to properly give out the tickets. So keep an eye out on that. But if that's something that you guys are really, really, really interested in, please mark it down on your calendar just to make sure that you guys don't book something that day. But um, yeah, that is happening. So I 
you guys will definitely hear about when those tickets and how to get those tickets by the end of June. So, all right, Speed Networking of it. I already forgot that I put that on the bottom of that as well. So new Framingham campus tour. So we are working right now to try to get um, either a tour for the alumni, either with another group or just having the alumni themselves be a group to tour the new building. An idea that I'm also working with some nursing and EMS alumni is having a forum for the current nursing and EMS students to ask questions to those alumni about like, hey, like, what's it like? What's it like going into this field? You know, how did MassBay prepare you? Like, do you feel confident? All those kinds of things. So just letting that the letting the students ask questions to those alum who have that similar experience along with that tour. Um, homecoming is kind of an idea that we pitched around. So that is something that I'm still hoping to have coming this fall. I will let you know next meeting if that is a definite yes that we can do it or something that we'll have to backpedal a little bit and have um, for next spring instead of the fall. It just depends on budget and how much is like what else is going on those days. And that also ties into Nick Thin's idea of an accepted alumni day. So having that tied into homecoming, letting people and alumni come back and kind of celebrate and just be back on campus, kind of like an alumni social that they did last summer um, before I was hired, but a little bit bigger. And then on October 1st, we're actually going to be having a car show um, with the Ashland campus. I don't have any kind of other details other than the date right now, but I'm going to be working with uh, Dave, who is the dean of the automotive science or automotive um, campus, and we're going to be working on having an event probably one month before, so sometime in September, for the automotive alumni. So that's a little bit of kind of what I'm working on now. And of course, there's always so many things uh, in the back of my mind and on my whiteboard. And that's just kind of a little tidbit. And if you do you guys have any questions about any of those? I missed um, the new Framingham um, campus tour. Sorry, I got a phone no, okay. call which was spam and it, it didn't need to call me. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah. um, when is the new Framingham campus tour? So we don't have a date yet. So that's the good part. You didn't miss, miss much, Nathan. So we okay. don't have the date yet. We're working on it. But as soon as I have that date, I'm going to send it out to everybody. But okay. that's something that Sounds I'm really excited good. about because the new building looks beautiful if you guys haven't been by it yet. I haven't been by it, so I would like to see it. So yeah. <laughs> All right. I went to one instead about this. Hmm. Alumni event, the car show. You said you have a date, right? Can you repeat the date? Yeah. So the date for the car show is October first. I know nothing else about it. Nothing else, like, but the location held on. So. not for sure. <laughs> but um. As it gets closer, I'll have like flyers and posters and let everybody know about it. And then we're I'm working on having an automotive alumni event a month prior in September, and then everything will go out with that. But it's that one's still very early in the stages. Mm -hmm. Me and Dave were like, we need to do something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, current volunteer opportunities. So fall semester scholarship application reviews. So fall semester is the big semester for scholarship applications. Um, we typically need between what I've been told is that they've been trying to get around 50 to 70 people for spring and fall. I got 100 people for the spring um, scholarship application review, and that number worked out really well. We actually made a really great partnership with um, TJX and having their associates from their home office over here in Framingham and their regional home office in Marlboro do scholarship applications with us, which is fantastic. So fall semester is another big, big number <laughs> semester. So I will probably be emailing everybody about that a little bit closer. The um, yeah, I will send you information, Henry. Um, but yeah, so for the fall semester, that application review period will be at the end of August. 
So I believe it will be my birthday's on the 22nd. And I remember being like, oh, it's during my birthday, which is fine. So <laughs> it'll be that end of August week. And then also commencement. I didn't put commencement on here, but I mentioned it earlier. Awesome. Thanks, Mariana. All right. And then if anyone, does anyone have any questions about volunteer opportunities, things like that? Your email can like sign up for it. Yeah, I can write you down. Perfect. <laughs> so um that's one thing though, is if you're a current student and alumni, you are not able to do the scholarship application review. Mm -hmm. Just you know, we don't want anyone to be like, oh, there's bias, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing about that. So, you know, when you graduate, graduate, mm -hmm. then oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> But I appreciate I appreciate you wanting to volunteer. <laughs> All right. So our next alumni monthly meeting is Wednesday, June seventh at six p.m. These dates always seem so far out, and then they pop up so quickly. <laughs> so this meeting link will be available on the next alumni announcement. Alumni announcements get sent out um, usually if there is an event that month. I send out a reminder. But no matter what, they will be coming out the last week of every month. So most likely the week before that meeting, that's when the next alumni announcement will come out with the link and all the other fun things going on, like what you guys saw on the last one. And then this is something fun. So our um, distinguished alumna for 2023, who will be honored during this year's commencement, and wearing regalia and getting a fun plaque and just being honored for the amazing work that they've done throughout their, you know, alumna career and just being such a great partner to the college and to the alumni and everything of that. I can't say enough, but it's it's Mariana and I'm so excited. So Mariana, I'm so excited. She's gonna be at commencement. She was planning on being there already, but this is just a bonus and I'm so excited. So Thank you. Thank you. I'm so honored. This is a great, great award. And I'm like so honored to even be chosen. So thank you. This is a great college. It's a great community. I love giving back. So it's been fun. Thank you. Yay. Nathan, you had your hand up. No, I clicked the wrong button. It's okay. It was meaning <laughs> to do the reactions. No worries. Julie is laughing at me because I made a goof of myself. No, no goofs. <laughs> You're okay. All right. And now we have um, open forum. Does anyone have any questions, anything that they want to bring up before we do our Red Sox? All right. Well, I'm going to turn off my camera for a second so I can, I'll share my screen still, but I'm just going to turn off my camera because I'm going to take it off this like little rig that I have here to make the angle better <laughs> for me. Um, but I will be, oh geez, what did I just do? I will be right back. And then, so I'm going to type in everyone's names to our random name picker. And that will be the deciding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be our decider. Just so, yeah. So no, so there's no funny business, right, Henry? <laughs> no funny business. All right. So you got our wheel of names. Nathan. Catherine, Sabrina, Liz, Julie, and Mazin. Don't put me down on there, please. Who is that, Julie? Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. Somebody yeah, this for Julie Roy. Julie Roy, oh, do you want to be on thank there? Goodness. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Julie Roy, I spoke to you. Yes, I do want to be on there, Julie, again. So 
(laughs) (laughs) All right. Is everyone who is on here right now um, wanting to be on this on this shuffle? Okay. And everyone can see the Red Sox wheel, right? All right. Let's do it. Drum roll. Oh, wow. Nathan! Well, it looks like Keith can go anyway. So. <laughs> If that's who you want to pick, you don't have to pick him if you don't want, but <laughs> awesome. Yes. Um, okay. Um, and how do I? Um, I will email you the tickets, but in the meantime, if you want to get the ballpark app on your phone, that will make it the easiest that'll be the easiest way to transfer them to you. So if you just go on your app store and it's, it's the ballpark app, right? And it'll just have like the little um, MLB logo uh, on it. Sydney, if I could. Yeah. So Nathan, um, please connect with Sydney um, and give her the email address that you will use to register the ballpark app. Uh, the Red Sox is a uh, ticket, oh, I'm sorry, a physical, they don't longer accept or do physical tickets. So you'll need to download the app. And with that email account that you have registered on the app, um, I will forward the tickets to your attention. Um, so, um, yeah, because if I, I can't forward it to Sydney and Sydney forwards it to you, it, it has to come directly from from us, from me rather. I just found out yesterday or Monday, okay. excuse me. So, <laughs> um, but I will need your email address and you, you can give Sydney that information. So congratulations. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, Nathan, get that ballpark app first and then give me the email that you register for it, okay? Um, okay. One last thing. I don't know if I'm scheduled for the 23rd yet, um, <laughs> but if, if I if I find out that I will be, I'll reach out to you. Um, no promises, but I'll see what I can do to hook you up. Yeah, that would be perfect. <laughs> oh, so, and Nathan, just to make sure that you know which game that you're that you just won tickets to, it's June 24th against the Miami. They're the Marlins? Uh, yes, it's the Marlins. Forgive me, I thought it was the 23rd. 23rd, yeah. Um, 23rd. No, hold on a hold it on, was that on. Wednesday game, right? Nope, no, no, no. Uh, nope. That's why I have the calendar here. It is June 28th. 28th, at, okay. At 7, 10 p.m. Yeah. Uh, doors open up. I had, I had the day and time somewhere. I was like, I'm like, that's the one thing I forgot to do right now. <laughs> but we will email you all of that, Nathan. So just get that ballpark app. Let me know which email you use to make that account and we will get you hooked up. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, at a cool 7.03, I think that's the most efficient meeting we've had. So if any, does, um, does anybody have any questions, any comments, anything like that? I hope everyone who's here will go to <laughs> the next meeting. And yeah, so Catherine, I'm sorry that you didn't win, but I'm very happy that you came to the meeting and I hope you come to more and I hope to see you on campus. And if not, I'll see you at graduation. Is there a way to um I don't know um never mind, I guess it's, it's okay. fine. No, you're okay. If you have any questions, just send me an email, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. All right. Thank you everyone so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to the mentor managers who came. Thank you to Julie. Thank you to Mariana and Brendan. Thank you everybody for coming. I so, so, so appreciate this. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I'll see you on campus. I'll see you on WebEx. And if anything, I'll see you at commencement. (laughs) Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Congrats, Nathan.